In this video, we'll show you how to use the configuration software to display an image on your video wall. First, we'll install the Nova LCT software and connect to the sending card. And then we'll configure the video mapping for the LED screen. Now that we've connected all the components together, let's configure the processor to display the correct format on your video wall. Navigate to the main menu by clicking OK. Push and turn the control knob to navigate to Output Settings, Output Resolution, then Custom. Here, you'll input the full resolution and frame rate of your video wall. For this P3.9 setup, each panel has a resolution of 128 by 128 pixels. These LED panels are constructed in a grid of 6x4, giving our video wall a full resolution of 768 by 512. Set your wall's resolution in the menu, along with the desired frame rate. Select Apply Settings to save these settings. To save this configuration, hit the Save button on the video processor and save the configuration to Preset 1. The Nova LCT software can be downloaded from the link in the description or by visiting the Nova Star official website. Install the software to the control PC and verify that you have the USB cable connected to the sending card. Also, check that you have an input source, like HDMI, connected to the video processor. Begin by opening the Nova LCT software. We can configure the screen settings by navigating to User, Advanced, and Login using the password Admin. Now, navigate to the screen configuration page. Here, we'll connect to the sending card by choosing an option from this list. If you do not see a COM connection in this list, then you do not have a good USB connection to the sending card. Select the factory reset button and click save to restore the sending card to its defaults. The receiving card tab will contain information about the LED panel receiving cards. This should be set properly already and does not require any configuration. Next, navigate to the Screen Configuration tab, select Configure, then use the provided input boxes to indicate the number of rows and columns in your video wall installation. Our installation has six columns and four rows. The receiving card size indicates the number of pixels per cabinet. Our P3.9 panels have a resolution of 128 by 128 pixels. Input this here and select Apply to All. Verify the Ethernet port number being used on the receiving card. In our case, we're using port number 1, closest to the LED. Use the interface to trace the path of the data connections on the LED wall for port 1. Draw the signal path as if you were looking at the display from the front. You can manually trace the path with this tool, or use the quick connection mode. Once you've selected the path that connects your LED panels together, select the Send to Hardware button to update the receiving cards. Save your configuration so it is recalled each time the video wall is powered on. Now, your Miracle video wall is installed and ready to use at your next event. If you have any difficulty configuring or troubleshooting the video display during setup, remember that Miracle offers remote configuration, over-the-phone technical support, and a three-year warranty for replacing any damaged components. Give us a call or visit our website to learn more.